I'm Dr. Daniel, and I practice in the specialty of internal medicine here in the Greater Toronto Area in Canada. I work in a large 400 plus bed community hospital that has a myriad of various subspecialties. In the mid 2000s, I attended a Caribbean medical school on the island of Aruba, followed by a residency in the United States after completing two plus years of clerkships in the United States. I decided to go to medical school in the Caribbean for multiple reasons. Probably first and foremost, it's an amazing opportunity to uh, spread your wings and get a uh, flavor for a multi uh, nationality atmosphere where you can study in a beautiful setting on a beautiful island and focus 100% on your studies. Attending a medical school in the Caribbean can also be much more affordable for some people and it also gives you uh, an alternate path towards achieving your goals and your dreams. It's always important to realize that when you have your goal of the amazing practice of medicine that there's many routes that you can take to get there and you have to choose the right one for you. It was a privilege to be able to study uh, medicine for the first couple years on the beautiful island of Aruba. Aruba is an extremely safe island, safe in terms of outside of the hurricane belt, but also the people are a loving and happy people and very welcoming to anybody, especially if you are practicing towards the amazing achievement of becoming a physician. Further, it gives you an opportunity to have complete focus on your studies while at the same time being in a beautiful natural environment which will lift your spirit and open up your mind and ability to have a fulsome dedication to your studies. One of the major questions that might be on your mind is how do you get residency? When do you get residency? Can you get a residency? And the answer is 100% absolutely yes as evidenced by many graduates, but the answer lies within you, and the answer lies within hard work and discipline. A graduate from a Caribbean medical school is considered an international medical graduate and has the ability to write the standardized board exams, whether in U.S. or Canada, just like all other uh, potential applicants from other schools. So if you do very high in your aptitude on the board exams, complete your clerkships at recognized hospitals, have amazing letters of reference, and prove yourself, then certainly everything is open to you and you will be able to attain a residency position in the United States in your desired field of specialty. Once you've completed your residency in your desired subspecialty, in the United States, there is a pathway uh, to return or come to Canada, uh, which includes certain parameters that need to be met, but it is certainly possible uh, to transfer your credentials and be certified to practice in Ontario. If you're watching this video, most likely you're entertaining the idea of pursuing your dream of becoming a physician and I would say that it's a noble endeavor and if you have that thought put that thought into action put your mind forward hard work make it happen you can do it